Well, Michelle and her daughter Brianna say that her oldest daughter Tia, who recently changed her name to Rose, went from being a mom with a great job as a physician assistant to being unemployed, living in her truck, and speaking with what sounds like a British accent. Now, Rose, who has not seen her mother and sister in five years, says she stays away for a good reason. Pepper Rose is a, a pinup name that I came up with. Vintage 50s clothes, can have cowboy boots, you can have your hair up with sort of a pompadour. This hat, my goodness, I can't part with it. If people think I've gone off the deep end, they need to know that I am just being myself. This is who I am. Miss Pepper Rose is the personality that I portray when I'm singing. And the rockets ride the When I sing, I feel pretty free. As a child, my name was Tia. Tia, that name brings up a lot of painful memories. I prefer to be called Rose because it brings more positive memories. When I think about my mom, I'm disappointed. My mom was negative, she was controlling, she was badgering, she would not stop. I feel like having a relationship with my mom is impossible because she really hasn't treated me like her daughter. She would present these cases where she was going to help me and then she would say, oh, but I've changed my mind because you're such a bad person or you're crazy. I would love to have a relationship with my sister, but my mom is always going to be in the middle of that. My mother did play a hand in me losing temporary custody of my children. She said that I'm such a habitual liar. Not having my children in my life in the moment makes me feel a pretty empty void. A few months ago, while I was praying the rosary, is when I had my stroke. And when I woke up, I had this new accent. When I have is called foreign accent syndrome. I would say talking with this accent is, um, it's fun because it, it's, it's a discussion starter. People always want to know where I'm from. Now when I speak, I joke I sound like a mix between like Mary Poppins and uh, Nicki Minaj. And I'm like, I'm not pretending. This is way too much work. Well, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm all right. Um, this is the first time that You've seen your mother and sister in a long time, right? It is, yes. Do you miss your mother? I miss the relationship we had before everything kind of fell apart. And how do you feel seeing your daughter for the first time in so long? Actually, I'm overjoyed. I, I've missed you. I'm just confused. I don't understand how it happened and what I could have possibly done to make you think that I don't love you and that I, I, that I, I don't know, that I'm a monster. Do you love your daughter? I love her to death. Yes, I love her. And it hurts me. And she, she thinks I'm meddling by me getting on social media. I, I check that social media about 10 times a day, just looking for a post from you. And when I see that you're on the side of the road and you're hungry, and it's cold and you don't have gas. I try to find ways to send money. But you've cut me off, you've blocked me. You can say you've been there for me, but it's always come with some other expectation. I'm only gonna do this for you if you don't date this kind of person. I'm only gonna do this for you if you major in this. You cannot pursue these other avenues. We have to meet the certain standard in our family and you can't pursue art, you can't pursue music. I wasn't just this person that up and decided to throw away all this education to pursue music. You can sit here and put highlight reels and act like everything's perfect for years of your life when you're internally struggling with anxiety, pressures at work, pressures to be a mom, to breastfeed, to be this perfect wife, to have these perfect meals, to have perfect family photos. And to tell me that nothing's ever happened that would make me feel like you didn't love me or nothing's ever happened that would make me feel like I couldn't turn to you is wrong.